In this video, we are going to prepare a very healthy recipe. Chickpeas, butternut squash and girol mushrooms. Welcome to Agile Cooking! In the recipe, we're gonna use butternut squash, but you can use any other varieties of pumpkin. Same happens with the girol or chantadel mushrooms. If it's not the season, you can use any other type, like white buttons, portobello, or oyster mushrooms. A good tip to reduce the crying while chopping the onion is to have them in the fridge beforehand. The cold of the fridge reduces the amount of gas that liberates, and then the eyes are less irritated. The butternut squash is very hard to peel and cut, so if you find it diced at the supermarket, it's a good option to save time. For cleaning the mushrooms, you can use kitchen paper or like us in the video, cleaning with a bit of water. What's important is to not immerse them inside the water because they are spongy and they're gonna lose all the flavors. Cut the mushrooms by half to check if they have unwanted guests. That will ruin a vegetarian meal. For the chickpeas we need to conserve a bit of water because we're gonna use it on the coction after. We're gonna keep a couple of leaves of persil for the decoration. We start by frying the mushrooms. The pan needs to be very hot. In this way, the liquids released by the mushroom are going to evaporate immediately and will prevent them to be boiled instead of fried. We use the same pan and put a bit of olive oil to fry the onions. We should move the vegetables quite often, in order for them to cook evenly. When adding the chickpeas, we add some spoons of their liquid. The quantity depends a bit if you want a more dry or creamy result. Those chickpeas are coming from a can and they need to be cooked a bit more before eating. But if you already boil them, it's not necessary to cook them for 5 minutes more. The butternut squash needs to be tender, but not overcooked. So when the fork enters perfectly, but it's a bit difficult to extract, is the ideal point.
we are suggesting two different presentations, one a bit more creative and the other more traditional. Be imaginative when preparing that dish and send me the pictures of your presentations. If you like it, that recipe, give me your support and subscribe to the channel. And click on the bell to receive the alerts of the new videos I'm posting. And if you want to suggest recipes for new videos, you can add them at the comments. Look at other healthy recipes I have in my channel. See you at the next recipe! And don't forget to subscribe!